Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Vanderheiden and I am the River Bend Egg in the Classroom Coordinator in Scott County. And today I have with me Samantha Pekin. And we are going to be learning uh, the Dress Up Like the Corn Plant lesson. But before we begin with our skits, we are going to read a fun book called Kernel to Corn. So let's get started. From Kernel to Corn by Robin Nelson. Corn tastes yummy. How does it grow? A farmer prepares for planting. A farmer drives over a field with a cultivator. This machine has many blades that turn over the dirt. The, bl the blades break up clumps of dirt. Now the field is ready for planting. The farmer plants seeds. A corn seed is called a kernel. The farmer uses a row planter to plant kernels. A row planter is a machine that digs ditches in the field. The row planter puts the kernels in the ditches and covers them with dirt. The seeds change. The water helps seeds grow into plants. The kernels soak up water from the dirt. The kernels swell. A root breaks open from each kernel. Roots grow down into the ground. They take in water and food from the dirt. Tiny plants grow. Sprouts come out of the kernels. A sprout is a young corn plant. It grows up out of the dirt. Sunlight and water help the sprout grow. Corn plants grow tall. Corn grows tall very fast. A stalk is the stem of the corn plant. A stalk can grow five inches or 13 centimeters in just one day. It takes a girl or a boy two years to grow that much. The farmer protects the plants. Hungry bugs may eat the corn. Bugs can also give the corn diseases. Weeds may take up the corn space. Weeds block out the sun too. Some farmers spray their crops to kill the weeds and the bugs. Cobs grow. Cobs grow on the corn stalks. Kernels grow on the cobs. Cobs with kernels are called ears of corn. Leaves cover each ear to protect it. These leaves are called husks. The corn is picked. Some farmers use a machine to pick the corn. Some farmers pick the corn by hand. This worker loads picked corn on a truck. The corn is sold. Many people buy fresh corn from a farmer's market or a grocery store. They take the corn home, take the off the husk, and cook it. Eat the corn. Corn on the cob tastes good with butter, salt, and pepper. It tastes good all by itself. The end. Samantha is one of many corn kernels in a bag of corn that is waiting to be planted by a planter, which is a large machine that puts the seed into the soil and covers it back up. Can anyone tell me what a seed needs to start growing or germinating? The seed needs water. In Iowa, we get enough rain so farmers don't need to water their crops. As you can see, I am sprinkling over blue pom-poms over Samantha so she gets enough water to start germinating. The seed also needs heat and moisture. The sunlight will warm up the ground and that is how the seed will also start to germinate. The corn kernel bursts through the soil to become a small corn plant above the ground. The stalks get taller and she begins to form leaves. As the corn plant gets older, it develops a tassel on the top of their head. A tassel is the flower of the corn plant. 
In the tassel, this is where the pollen is made and now the ear of corn can form. What might be some challenges the corn plant might face? If you guessed weather, you are correct. Wind can be very powerful and knock down the stalks, along with hail. Hail can sometimes ruin the corn stalk. Another challenge are bugs. There are certain insects that love to eat corn plants, so we have to spray for them to keep the bugs off, called insecticide. Even though there are challenges that the corn plant might face, the corn has extremely strong roots, and with a little bit of water, the corn stalk can strengthen up and grow back to its normal size. As spring turns to summer and summer turns into fall, we begin to see the corn change colors to a brown stalk. The hot summer heat dries out the corn and the stalk. When the corn plant reaches a certain moisture level, that is when it's time for the farmer to harvest the corn with a large machine called a combine. Check out a local Scott County farmer as he combines his crops. So after completing the Dress Up Like a Corn Plant skit, we have a fun activity to wrap up our lesson today. And it looks like this. We are needing for supplies a half sheet of colored paper. You'll need the C is for corn and a picture of an ear of corn, along with some glue and the corn kernels. Now remember, this is the corn kernels that we were talking about in our skit. These are field, this is field corn, and um, it is the 98% of the corn that we grow here in Iowa. So I already glued my um, C is for corn worksheet along with my picture to my piece of paper. And then all you gotta do is trace the C is for corn and glue your uh, kernels to your ear. And then you'll have a complete craft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson today and learned something about corn.